Okay, that was another Zenith fly-in. We had a lot of fun. Me and Alyssa flew up there, uh, had a headwind, flew back, had another headwind, but all in all, a great time. Uh, met up with Roger, Sebastian, and all our customers and friends up at Zenith. Now, I figure we'll just pull some uh, handles here, get the cowling off. We just got back from the from the 20 hour plus show. Let's just take a quick look and see what uh, we've been using for oil during the flight. And uh, take a look at the uh, sight class and the gearbox, just generally do an overview of the engine and see what we got. Now, first let's take a look at the coolant. Um, we always keep it at the bottom mark. So we had no coolant leaks on the 20 hour flights. We had no, uh, dip, you know, no loss of coolant. So we're good there. Um, the engine doesn't really use any oil. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just clean off the dipstick. It's just interesting to be able to do these checks because traditionally, as you know, uh, aircraft engines use a lot of oil going a uh, long distance like that. This uh, Honda conversion, this of course being the 170 horsepower turbo version, you know, it was over full when we left a little bit and it's still a little bit over full. So we didn't use any oil at all and that was in 20 hours. I think that's uh, pretty amazing. I think uh, it's something that is worth having on an engine like this, being able to go on a long distance cross country flight and not having to add oil every three, four hours like on a traditional engine. Let's take a look at the gearbox oil. All right, the gearbox oil, we can only really view it through the sight glass, but as you can see, there is a back plate to the sight glass, which is totally white still, so there's no uh, no dirty oil. We're running now a w, uh, 75W130. We're also experimenting with a uh, straight weight Mobile One synthetic oil, and gearbox is running at 165 degrees. So no issues there, and overall just a very successful flight with no... Now as far as like keep checking on the engines, which we do, we fly hundreds of hours on these engines. We always can constantly check everything, uh, ignition timing, valve timing, all that. We also check the exhaust pipe, we check compression. And as you can see from the 20 hour flight, it's an absolute perfect mixture, just a tiny bit of lead, but no soot. So the engine's running nice and clean, uh, shown by that. And you can see the little bit of lead coming out of the pipe. Another quick check, of course, on the condition of the engine is to do a compression check. Uh, we continue to <clears throat> build hours on these engines. We got 250 hours on our turbo engine now in this airplane, another 250 hours in our cruiser before this engine. So we got 500 hours of personal testing at the company. This is uh, contrary to uh, competitions that try to sell engines without any kind of testing. So we pride ourselves in being able to put ourselves in the airplane and fly all over the country to all different trade shows and then doing all these tests and really showing you that the engines are holding up exceptionally well. We keep telling you that they're, well, they're Honda engines and they're gonna last a long time, but we also want to do an awful lot of testing ourselves and make you see for yourself that these engines are, in fact, what we say that they are. A lot of times I'll do a compression check uh, every few hours just by flipping the propeller now the engine's been sitting uh, since yesterday when I came back, so we just make sure that we have good compression on four cylinders. Okay, so we just keep doing that. We also check the valves, we check the exhaust like I showed, check for oil pressure, check the temperature, check the gearbox. Uh, we just continuously verify that the engines are like brand new sending oil in for analysis. So this is something that we do continuously here and we always make sure that we have an engine in one of our airplanes here at Viking that has more hours on it than any airplane engine that you would have in your airplane. And that's just how we operate and that's how we like to see it. We don't want customers to do our testing. We want to do our own testing 
and then you follow our lead with your engine, uh, and that's how we just run the operation.